We don't do that now, I and mean, it's much different now where we actually put a tube down the throat and blow with forceful or positive pressure into the lungs. But this is the way things used to be. And again, I'm seeing dozens and dozens and dozens of these all in one room. Um, pandemics typically, the, the major ethical issue in a pandemic is what we call in the ethics literature a, a, a question about allocation of scarce resources. When there's not enough to go around, who gets it and who doesn't? And who gets to decide? So in the past, uh, we have examples of scarce resources we've had to allocate. Antibiotics, for instance, we just heard a wonderful talk on uh, venereal disease and antibiotics, but the next piece of that is to say that uh, in World War II when penicillin was available, it wasn't really highly available, and so it was given to the soldiers who had gonorrhea and not the ones that got shot. The ones that got shot weren't gonna go back and fight. The ones that got gonorrhea could get the penicillin and go back to the front lines, and if you've ever been in the military, you wanna put more, of, more bodies on the front line so that you're better able to fight. And so one of the very interesting early allocation decisions was that the penicillin wasn't gonna to go to those that might die or do very poorly, but to those who would do well or could be able to fight again. The iron lungs were allocated or rationed um, during the polio epidemics. Uh, in, in the current time, we, on a regular basis, have to allocate scarce organs um, for transplant. And that is a lot of the area that I am involved with. I take care of uh, transplant uh, kidney patients and um, have been involved for the past few years with the uh, UNOS uh, Ethics uh, Committee in trying to develop allocation schemes to try to be fair. And I'll talk a little bit more about that as we go on. ICU beds and ventilators is a question that we, some, that we actually have in our hospital every day. You know, every day that our hospital is code red, we're trying to figure out who can come out of the ICU bed. Can we make another one open? Is somebody well enough? Who's sick enough? Who doesn't get it? Sometimes we, we get called every day in the transfer center that there are pa patients in outlying hospitals that want to get here that need higher levels of care. And sometimes we have room and sometimes we don't, but there is always a struggle. And that is now. That is not when there's any pandemic. We are code red more than we are not code red. And so when we talk about having a pandemic surge where we suddenly have to have nine times the capacity, it's gonna be very, very difficult. And who gets